Action, it's going. You have to say, action. Can you pass me my book? I need my notes. <laughs> What's up guys? It's Cassidy and I'm back with another video. Today I'm doing kind of an advice video. I posted a picture on Instagram and I told you guys that I had been wanting to do an advice video but I couldn't choose a specific topic or I couldn't think of one that was good enough myself. So I went to you guys and asked you on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you should find me right now and follow me. I post pretty much every day and it's at Cassidy Secrets, the same as my YouTube name. So find me on there and follow me. But anyway, I asked you guys what was a good advice video for me to do. And one of my friends actually requested me to do a video on how to stay so positive. Like, how do I keep a positive mindset? And then another friend wrote a message about in this day and age, we tend to compare ourselves so much with social media and seeing everyone else's lifestyle on the internet. So I kind of wanted to like combine those two things because I do feel like they have a lot to do with each other as far as keeping a positive mindset and you know not dragging yourself down and comparing yourself to other people. I do consider myself to be a positive person and it does not come naturally to me you guys. It I don't think it really comes 100% natural to everyone. I do try hard to eliminate negative thoughts from my mind um, or negative people from my life because to me it's so worth it. It's not easy at all. Nobody was given a positive mindset. Nobody was given the perfect happy life. There are problems in everyone's lives whether you are born into a billion dollar family or whether you are born into a homeless shelter you know there are problems obviously there are two extreme very different cases but there are problems in everyone's life so no one is given the perfect life you have to keep that in mind so what I'm gonna be doing in this video is I'm just gonna talk to you guys about around like four or five most important things that I personally feel like are the main things that keep me very positive that keep my mindset positive, my lifestyle positive. I really feel if you focus on these five things, they will change your life. The first thing that I wanna talk about is being a watcher of your thoughts. I know this sounds kinda of weird because you're like, well, I am my thoughts, how can I watch my thoughts? But the truth is, you are not every thought that goes through your brain. Our brain as human beings have a billion thoughts probably every hour. There are many, many negative and dark thoughts that come past my brain, but people don't think I'm a negative or dark person, and I don't think I'm a negative or dark person, but there are plenty of times where those thoughts run through my head. So I think it's important to be a watcher of your thoughts. Don't allow yourself to identify too much with thoughts that you feel like are not really you. A good example of this is when I was in high school. I, in high school, I was extremely skinny. And anyone that's watching this that know me from high school, I know y'all thought I was mad skinny. <laughs> I was like a twig, like, because, I mean, it's true. I was really, really skinny. I did feel very out of place in high school because all of the girls around me were pretty developed, you know? I don't think they were, like, overdeveloped, but they were pretty developed, and I was always the one that was, like, much skinnier, much smaller, and, like, I had a small voice, and I was just, like, the little one all the time, which is fine, but I just felt so... almost, like, less of a woman. I felt like, why don't I have curves like this girl has, or why don't I have the... um, why aren't I as tall as this person, or why does my face look so much like a baby, and, se and this person looks like a grown woman? For for me, feeling out of place and feeling insecure about my body made me almost judge other girls for their bodies. I was very insecure about having no curves. So any girls that I would see that had like really nice curves, like nice butt, big boobs, I would feel so almost like jealous. I would feel jealous of that person and um, I would feel jealous of the attention that they got um, and you know that all just creates so much negative thoughts in your head and anytime you have any insecurities it's very hard to be positive 
The one thing that I didn't like and that made me realize that I have to watch my thoughts is that I, if I would see a picture of a girl kind of like posing like with her butt out or something like that, I would immediately go to put that girl down and I would immediately go to be like, ugh, why is she just putting it all out there like that? Something like that, like something ridiculous like that that is just so uncalled for and it was it was never a reflection of that person. It was never a reflection of what that girl was doing. It was literally a reflection of how I felt about myself. And because I wasn't really aware of my thoughts, I wasn't aware of why I felt the way I felt, and I wasn't confident enough in myself to say like, hey, why are you, why do you even care what this girl is doing? Around that time was when I started realizing like, whoa, like this isn't me, like why am I looking at people and judging them? I really have to start being in control of my thoughts. And that along with other books and like more things that I learned about myself and about the world, I realized like it is so important as a human being, it is your job as a human being to watch your thoughts. Once you start paying attention to your thoughts, you'll be able to monitor and evaluate what negative things are coming through. And that's when you'll be able to ask yourself, does this align with who I am? Or you'll be able to check yourself like, hey, I'm going a little too far, or hey, I'm being a little too harsh with this person. Or, you know, I don't wanna be that kind of person that thinks negative things. When you start paying attention to every single little thought that comes in your head, you'll be able to bring the focus back onto yourself and think, hey, all right, where is this coming from? Why am I doing this? It helps you be a better person. It helps you kind of look at yourself and say, I want the best version of myself. Is this kind of helping me do that or is this just taking away from me being the best version of myself that I possibly can be. Be a watcher. Don't identify with your thoughts. Your brain thinks a million things. That doesn't mean it's who you are and that doesn't mean it's who you have to be. It's your responsibility to look at yourself and say, all right, that's not cool or okay, yeah, this works or I can handle this better that way. So once you start watching your thoughts, then you can get there. A second thing is so simple to me, uh, but it's something that is very rare, especially living in New York City. It's to smile. Smiling will just brighten your day and brighten people's day around you. It's so simple. It's something that comes natural to us to smile when we think something is funny or being able to just be on the train. That's usually not somewhere that a New Yorker wants to have a smile on their face. But if you are able to sit in a place like that and put a smile on your face and realize that you're doing it, that says a lot and that could make such a change in your day. Just putting on a smile, not caring who sees you or who wonders why you're smiling. Not only do I wanna smile for myself, but let's say I meet someone new, I want them to see a smile on my face because I want them to feel comfortable in meeting me and a smile can really bring that element to meeting new people. Me and my boyfriend were actually recently having a conversation and I asked him like, what do you think makes you a positive person? And he was like, honestly, like just smiling. He's like, I feel like when I start my day with a smile, it just makes my whole body feel good. And I totally agreed with him. Like smiling leaves that room for you to have a good day. Even if you're having a bad day and you tell yourself in your brain, like I'm gonna smile right now. <laughs> and if you smile, you'll almost make yourself giggle and that will change the tone of how you're feeling. It changes your energy and it also allows other people to feel a little bit more comfortable around you. The third thing that I want to talk about is two things in one and this is kind of a big one for me because I feel like in this generation this is the main thing that brings a lot of my peers down and it is being grateful for everything that you have and also not comparing your life to other people. Every time that I wish that I had something that I don't have was a moment wasted of me not appreciating all of the things that I do have. If you constantly compare your life to other people, you will never be happy no matter where you are in life. You could be a billionaire, but if you compare your life to someone else, 
it's still not going to be good enough. And there's nothing more miserable and more time wasting than feeling like your life is just never good enough. And unless you decide to change that and focus on your own life and focus on all of the things that you have, nothing can bring you down. Literally nothing can bring you down if you do that. In this time in life, it's especially hard because we have social media and we have the internet. Instagram is such a beautiful thing. I love Instagram, but at the same time, it can be so detrimental to someone trying to be positive because here you are working hard and you know, giving life what you think is your best. And then you go on Instagram and then you see some people just on a yacht and in mansions and popping bottles in the best clubs and you know, going on vacations and you're like, what the hell am I doing wrong? <laughs> to some extent that's natural, but if you're making it a habit of doing that and saying, why don't I have this in life? Why don't I have that in life? That just means that you are spending zero time appreciating what you actually have. I'm sure some people People have a roof over their head and they're like why don't I have a mansion and people that don't have a roof in their head would die to be in someone someone's place that does have a place to sleep does have a place to live and I was talking about this in my snapchat yesterday I was saying how you know I have a bed to sleep on every night and I'm so grateful for that bed there are people that do not have a bed to sleep in like that's a pretty big deal so the more time I spend appreciating everything that I have it leaves no room for me to compare my life to someone else. It leaves no room for me to wish that I had something else. And I'm not saying that it works all the time. I'm just saying these are things that you have to remind yourself about when you are going through those thoughts. But don't focus your time on thinking about what you don't have. Focus your time on appreciating what you do have and more things will come to you. Number four is very simple. The One of the main reasons to be positive is because being negative sucks. Plain and simple as that. Being negative freaking sucks. It doesn't serve you. It doesn't serve me. It doesn't serve anything in life. There is no good reason to be a negative person and to have a negative mindset. For a lot of people it can be hard to get that kickstart on like how to be positive because they're so used to being skeptical or having one way of thinking towards people. If you are one of those people that you just feel like I don't have many positive people in my life and you know I do want to make a change, I do want to feel happier because being positive helps you feel happier. The thing that I would suggest to you is read books. You have to read books. A lot of the books that helped me were The Power of Now. I read A Complaint Free World and it's sort of like a challenge of, you know, helping people not complain. And instead of complaining about something, only focus on the solution and what can you do about it? What can you change about this situation? Um, in a positive way that makes you feel best. The Secret was also a book that made me aware of my thoughts and it allowed me to realize that you attract exactly what you give out. So you have to remember the more negative thoughts you think and the more negative just situations you're gonna attract into your life. So that is why being negative just plain out sucks because when you're negative, you attract more negative and when you're positive, you attract so much more positive and there's no better way to live. The very last thing that I wanna talk about are extreme cases and these are the things in life that are the hardest to deal with. These are the things where it's so difficult to see a light at the end of the tunnel. The main things that I'm talking about are depression, a breakup that you feel like you'll never get out of, heartbreak is very hard to get out of, disease when people find out they have diseases or you know health problems a lot of the times it just seems like the end and death. Death is the only thing that is 100% final in this life and I don't want to leave this video on an extremely heavy note but I do want to reach anyone that is watching out there. I don't know exactly who you all are. I don't know exactly what your situation is but I want to be able to go over everything because I never know who might be going through something that I am talking about. And 
I'm pretty sure a lot of you watching have dealt with all of those same things because although they seem so extreme and scary, they are pretty common in life. No matter how positive of a person you are, they're just the natural things that we have to deal with in life. I kind of just want to be that voice to tell you guys like, no matter what you're going through, it will always be okay. I always like to be that person to say that there is an answer for everything, there's a solution to everything, and there's always, you know, a, a positive way to see something, but when it comes to being in those situations, like, I remember when I was going through my first heartbreak ever, I was 16 years old, and oh my god, I felt like I was gonna die. Literally. I was like, I had never experienced emotional pain like that before and I was just like, my life is over. But here I am, standing and happy as ever. When you're in those kinds of situations, you feel like you're never going to get out, but then you do. And life happens and things start opening up and you actually grow from those experiences. Sometimes it seems like it's never gonna get better, but I promise you it always does. It's okay to be sad sometimes. It's okay to feel down, but always have a little voice in your head that tells you it's gonna be okay and you're gonna get past this because you are a strong, capable human being. So I feel like I've touched over many things in this video and I'm sorry if it's extremely long, but this was something that was super personal to me because I have had a struggle of having a lot of negative thoughts and my life just reflected that. And then the more I learned, the more I read things, the more I found out about myself was when my life changed so much and I was able to see life in a completely different way, in a completely more fulfilled way. Now, if there's something that you, something else that you wanted to hear from me in this video that you didn't, go ahead and comment that and I'll reply to you and hopefully answer whatever question you guys had but I really hope you did enjoy this video and I love you guys so much I all want you to take these things in and actually feel them because you're so worth it and your life is so worth it and I really believe that about everyone no matter who you are so I love you guys thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe because you guys know how much it means to me and I'll see you in my next video bye